Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about Azure App Service limitations. In my earlier presentations, we have already gone through the options available on Azure to host any web application or web services. So today we are going to see what are the limitations of, uh, on app services. So anytime when you are launching uh, your web application, you need to see both pros and cons of it. Then only you can uh, take a right decision. Uh, so I'm going to walk through first app service limitations. So uh, app services already have a lot of advantages uh, such as security, backup, uh, high availability. All, thing, all these things are taken care by uh, Azure. But what about the limitations? So first one is like no remote desktop available with the app services. In case you want to remotely access your server, that is not possible. So in case if you have such kind of requirement, then you have to have Azure VM rather than app service. Uh, you can't install any third party softwares uh, on the app services because you don't have control on the uh, OS completely. But uh, if you have any third party installation requirement, better you go with the Azure VMs. And maximum disk size provided by the app services is one TB. That is also under the isolated so before you take a decision, have a look on the limitations of the app services by going through these links. Here you can check all the limitations of the app services. The, that means like uh, what is the maximum disk size available and what, what are the maximum instances can be added and how many apps can be run under uh, the app services. And uh, even it describes like each plan here. The Linux uh, have more uh, limitations than the windows here. So you can check here one TB is the maximum storage available for the isolated. So the number of languages are supported uh, by the app services are this many. You can check uh, more limitations here with each and every version. Uh, both the links I have already provided on the, my PPT. Coming to the disk size uh, on the virtual machine, it can support up to 32 TB bytes. Uh, on uh, pre premium uh, SSD and standard SSDs. Uh, if it is ultra disk, you, it can support up to 64 TB bytes. So in case if you want to get more control in terms of the remote desktop and you want to install more softwares, uh, third party and all, uh, but VM could be the better option. Uh, other, if, if you don't want to manage your uh, hosting site in terms of the security and all those stuff, then better go with the app services. Uh, one more thing, like if you have huge traffic, uh, expected also use disk space required then you can go with the virtual machine so after going through all these links better take a decision thanks to everyone